fulfilled through the family. And Satan knows that. So Satan attacks marriage. Now somebody said Satan hates marriage because he cannot get married. Uh, the family also includes marriage. And marriage is sort of the glue that brings the family, that, that holds the family up. Marriage and family is so important to God that in Genesis 2, Matthew 19 and Ephesians 5, God says we should come together as one. Maria had a yodo when I'm nifet, a single seller named Matthew, like Ephesians, when I'm yellow, I took to one lagamataba in Libra Yemri. Marriage is, is so important to God that God compares the relationship of Christ and the church. And how we operate in our marriage determines the type of children we're going to build. I believe personally that God wants us to be married for three reasons. The first reason is for relationship. So that husband and wife can have relationship. Just like we have relationship with God. Tonight I'm going to be talking to us as an African. Because we Africans, we mix it up a little bit. The reason we marry is because of children. But when you read the scripture in Genesis, you'll see that the reason God brought Adam and Eve together is because of relationship. From that relationship comes the children, comes procreation. From that procreation comes, and then we, we have relationship, we have procreation, which is having children. And the third reason is to, for us to display our God through our marriage. Whether we like it or not. A lot of people is watching your marriage. Your children is watching your marriage. Your neighbor is watching your marriage. People you have no clue about, they are watching your marriage. People can actually give their life to Christ just by watching your marriage. So God wants us to come together in this union to have a relationship. To 
to, to have children and multiply and to bring glory to his name through our marriage. All of us as human beings, we are three beings in one. In 1 Thessalonians 5.23, Thessalonians Apostle Paul said, Now may your spirit, soul, and body We are spirit We are soul And we are body 1 Thessalonians 5.23 And in every part of our being Every part is relational to our marriage and our family. Our marriage needs to be, we need to relate on a spiritual level. We need to relate on an emotional level, on the soul level. We also need to relate on the physical level. All of these things are very important to God. And we're going to be talking through all of this today. The foundation of anything is very, very important. If you are building a house, you spend a lot of time on the foundation. If the foundation is not good, what you build on it does not matter. Some of you have heard about Haiti in the news. I have been privileged to go to Haiti two times. I have been to the villages of Haiti. I have a, a missionary friend in Port-au-Prince. When the first, the, when I heard about the earthquake, and my wife said, oh, what about our friends? I told my wife, I said, no, I believe they are safe. The reason I said that was their house is a concrete building. The Ha Haiti is a very hilly country. Uh, and the foundation of, of the house that my missionary friend lives in is very, very solid. So I told my wife, I'm sure their house will not collapse. But I told my wife, I said, I believe many houses around them will collapse. When we finally spoke with them, their house was standing. Because of the foundation. The foundation of our marriage is very important. There is one thing that the Bible clearly tells us. Now, as pastors, I am suggesting this to you. In fact, I want to make a proposal to the Executive Council. That before anybody gets married in the Assemblies of God in Burkina, that 
that that person or that couple go 